right, so today is, where is it? Today is October 7th, 2021, 4.54 p.m. Um, day number seven in my daily diary, 30 day daily diary challenge, I guess. Uh, today was good. Uh, usually I work Thursdays, but today I had the day off. I took PTO and uh, so it's been nice though. I got up this morning at seven. I've been trying to get up earlier um, and I went skating about 7.30, 7.45ish. I just left to go to skate to the skate park. Um, I always do when I skate. I don't drive. I don't drive to the skate park. Um, I uh, just skate or oh, skate there. It's about a mile, mile and a half maybe. Um, so yeah. Uh, but by the way, just excuse my uh, the, the noise here. It's my dryer. It's um. It's I have my dryer on. I did some laundry. I'm doing some laundry. But yeah, I went to the skate park. Uh, skated for a minute. Um, I was hoping nobody was just gonna be there, but there was one person there. Uh, he's quiet though, so he. He just kind of was minding his own business, which is cool. Um, I did my own thing. Um, I got a, I got a trick. I filmed myself doing a 50-50 uh, on this little curved ledge. 50-50, uh, 180 out also. Um, obviously, it's not like anything special, but because uh, I used to do way more than that. But it was cool because um, I've lost just about every, I've lost pretty much every trick. Uh, getting back into it, I'm just trying to get my balance back and everything. But uh, yeah, after that, I just skated back home and then I went to Roadrunner Sports and I bought uh, some new walking shoes and uh, they sold me into, they, they talked me into buying uh, uh, some socks also that are really uh, extra padding, really good for uh, walking uh, and just good, you know, for your uh, joints, and I guess, or whatever. I mean, I guess they, they said that makes a difference. So I bought um, a pack that had three pairs of them in there, but it cost $30 for the socks alone. But altogether, with a discount, shoes and socks was $174. And that was with a discount. Damn, that's expensive, expensive. But it's worth it. Um, I did need, need new walking shoes. Um, afterwards, I went to Subway and Treated myself to a foot long with avocado, uh, foot long turkey sandwich, avocado, and a medium drink and a bag of chips. I don't really ever go out and buy food during the middle of the week, but uh, but I did today, and I think well I did it also uh, maybe about a month ago at a doctor's appointment in the middle of the week, and I went out and I treated myself to Subway. But prior to that, I haven't gone out during the week in a long time, um, but seeing that I had PTO today and that the last time I went to Subway a month ago was so good, I figured I'd go out and treat myself again. And it was absolutely delicious. Um, my only gripe about that was that whole meal cost $15 and some change. I mean, uh, really expensive. I remember that used to be like eight bucks. Um, I don't know how it went up to 15 and some change. Crazy thing, everything's getting expensive. But after that, I went to so. Um, sorry, after that, I went to uh, Walmart and um, I got some grocery shopping done. Uh, I was having a good day, and this is what I really wanted to talk about: is until I uh, got to Walmart, um, everything was cool until I was checking out, and then there's this lady there that's I've been seeing there, just like um, on occasion I see her there. And I've been seeing her for the past year, maybe a year and a half. And um, she's like this uh, middle age, maybe closer to older age, uh, Hispanic woman, uh, really light. She, she kind of looks white passing, but you know, she's, she obviously is Hispanic because she looks Hispanic. Um, and she has a, you know, an accent, broken English. Uh, but ever since I saw her about a year ago, uh, when I would shop, she just always thinks I'm like a suspect or something. Like she's even questioned me about my groceries uh, when I was buying them. Uh, and she works at the front end, you know, at the checkout. She's not a checkout lady, but she works the uh, the self checkout. Uh, she I guess she just monitors the checkouts and makes sure that there's bags in the checkouts and uh, make sure everybody's you know going in you know orderly fashion you know to check out. 
and also, I guess, obviously look out for you know, people that are, you know, doing nefarious acts. But um, I'm not one of those people. I'm, you know, I play by the rules. You know, I do the right thing. And she has questioned me before and kind of like passively accused me of stealing before. Like I remember, like once buying, uh, uh, once I was uh, uh, just buying my groceries, and uh, the, the checkouts are weird. So the self, some of these self checkouts, there's not enough space, right? Some of them. So the bigger self checkouts weren't open at that time. These other checkouts were open that were smaller, and I had all my items like. I was putting them slowly up on there. And I don't like to scan one item at a time. You know, I usually like to scan a bunch, put them on there, scan them, scan them, scan them, and then just dump them into a bag and repeat the process. Now, when I did that, she saw that and thought that I didn't pay for these some of these items. I'm like, no, I paid for these items. You know, like I just shook her head, my head like, she was like, well, you know, just, you know, she's like, you know, just be careful if you go out and, you know, some items aren't paid for, they'll stop you at the end. And I just looked at her like, like, what the fuck is she talking about, you know? But, um, so yeah. And then ever since then, she's always kept an eye on me. And it's like, I, you know, I don't like conflict, but I think I'm gonna report her to her supervisor next time she engages in me in that kind of uh, way. Um, and also I'll report to Walmart corporate about her as well. But today, what bothered me was, you know, usually I don't, I don't see her very often, but when I do, it's always the same thing. Uh, but today, she happened to be a, a, up front at the checkout, and um, I remember uh, I, I bought these two pajama pants, and I, one of them didn't have a tag on it, and I'm like, fuck, man, you know, like, I don't, you know, I like everything to go smoothly, so I called one of the ladies up front. I said, I did not call her because I don't want to deal with her. I called one of the ladies and she came up. I told her, look, this doesn't have a tag on it. These were both from the same place. I'm assuming they'd be the same price. And she's like, yeah, you know, she was kind of on the fence about it. And she's like, you know what? That's fine. Just scan it twice. And I, then I looked at the tag. I'm like, you know what? These aren't the same brand, though. She's like, oh, they're not the same brand. And I was like, look, if you have to go check the price, I'm not even going to buy it. Don't worry about it because I don't want to keep doing the same one. And she's like, no, no, that's okay. Well, I'll just take it off. And then I'm like, that's fine. Take it off. I won't even buy it. No big deal. Fine. So she did. And I carried on with my uh, uh, checking out, I guess. And um, at one point, I was uh, weighing the lemons. I bought like two lemons, you know, and I was trying to weigh, uh, scan them because they, they have a, a scanner on them or a, a barcode on them. And then you weigh them, but the barcode did like scan and did, did something funky. So, anyways, I just weighed them out. They were like, what? I think a dollar fifty or something like that. Maybe not even. I put them in the bag. I guess when I scanned them, it it did something to the system. Like it brought up some code that it was an unknown item was scanned. Um, but it, it didn't do that until the end when I tried to pay. And I'm like, I can't pay. So I called that lady up again. And I was like, hey, look, this thing, she's like, and then she scrolled through the uh, the checkout list, uh, the list of things that I was purchasing. And then she's like, oh, you know what? Yeah, it's probably these lemons. I'm like, yeah, it did bring something up about the lemons. And she's like, that's fine. It does do that sometimes. She basically said exactly what happened. Um, and I was like, that's cool. So she overrid that. And then that other lady, the, the fucking bitch, comes up. And she's looking the whole time, you know, like looking around. And then she comes up and she's like, refilling the, uh, the plastic bags in my checkout stand. And she's like, well, what happened? I didn't answer her, you know? And the other lady didn't, didn't, I don't think she heard her, but she just kind of just went, you know, continued to uh, put the bags in. And she didn't even bother checking on it, but she obviously was like, you know, concerned. And I'm pretty sure after I left, she asked the lady like, hey, what happened? Like, you know, what was he doing, you know? like. You know, and, that, and I don't know what she told that other lady. The lady probably told her what happened, I'm sure. But um, the bitch probably, I don't know if she was like, oh, yeah, that guy, you know, like he's, you know, uh, whatever she may think about me. Who fucking cares? But, um, yeah, um, she just makes me nervous, man. And I don't know why. It's like she's a fucking minimum wage fucking peon, dude. I, I get paid twice as much as her, at least, you know. 
Um, she works at Walmart. She's a minimum wage fucking bum. Like, who the fuck are you? Plus, I'm the customer here. I shouldn't feel this way. I should be the one with the upper hand. Like, yo, the customer's always right, okay? So, I I shouldn't even feel worried or afraid or uh, intimidated by her in any way at all because she's a nobody and I'm the customer, right? So, again, I don't like conflict, but if, if I see this lady again and she's doing this shit, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask her, like, look, what's your name? And I wanna talk to your supervisor now. And also, I'm gonna report to you to Walmart Corporate because I don't like what you're doing at all. And I will, I will do that. Um, so anyway, like, uh, yeah, that just annoyed me. Like, I just hate seeing her. Like, she's just fucking annoying, you know? Like, like it's like, she acts like Walmart, like, I don't know, like, she, she's like a part owner of Wal Walmart or something. Like, you fucking work there, man. You ain't shit. You're a fucking minimum wage scumbag. Get the fuck out of here, you know? Sorry, you could tell I'm, uh, I'm pissed, but, um, anyway, um, yeah, so, that was that, but other than that, I had a good day, you know, the day was good, everything went well, and I'm just grateful that, uh, everything was, was great, you know, but, um, yeah, so that's that, so, until next time, bye.